Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Bro. Hey, yo, the champ is here. You are watching the data. Two, I'm Okune. I am a fanatic of sports. They are wrestling, and this is the show. You are watching the data. 24 7. Cut. The WWE roster is thinning out following a new television rights announcement in the aftermath of a major merger. Matt Riddle, Dolph Ziegler, Shelton Benjamin and Mustafa Ali are among the WWE superstars that have been released following the company's announcement of a TV deal for SmackDown, according to multiple reports. Riddle, a one-time UFC fighter who won multiple titles in WWE, announced his release Friday, just wanted to inform everyone that I'm no longer with WWE. Thank you for the memories and opportunities also thank you to all the fans for the support and love you give me every time I go out to the ring. See you all soon. However, multiple behavioral issues, including a recent public outburst at a New York airport, made him a liability for WWE. Ziegler is a former two-time world heavyweight champion and Money in the Bank winner who was coming up on 20 years with the company. Benjamin was a multi-time title holder who confirmed announced his release. Mustafa Ali, Emma, Madcap Moss and former WWE Women's Tag Team Champion Aliyah were among superstars who publicly confirmed their releases on social media. Ali's release was arguably the most surprising considering he was scheduled to face Dominic Mysterio for the NXT North American Championship at the No Mercy event on September 30th. NXT's Quincy Elliott was also released as part of the talent cuts, something Elliott confirmed in an Instagram story post, as were several other NXT performers, including Dabakato, Ulisa Leon and Bryson Montana. Elias was another longtime roster member who got dismissed, as he signed a developmental deal with WWE back in 2014. Last year, Elias debuted a new character named Ezekiel, who claimed to be Elias' brother. Ezekiel was phased out and Elias returned, but he hadn't competed in a televised match since May before his release. Like Elias, Moss signed a developmental contract in 2014, and he went through many trails and tribulations before making it to the main roster, including numerous injuries. His on-screen appearances were few and far between this year, which was also the case for his real-life fiancée, Emma, who was released Thursday as well. Emma was with WWE from 2011 until 2017 when she got released for the first time. Following runs in Ring of Honor and Impact Wrestling, Emma returned to WWE in October 2022, but she was never established as a key member of the women's division after losing to Ronda Rousey in her first match back. Rick Books debuted on the main roster in 2021 by using his legitimate guitar skills to play Shinsuke Nakamura to the ring. Books suffered a torn quad and patella tendon, causing him to miss nine months. He returned in January, but his only televised match since May was participating in the Battle Royal at SummerSlam last month. All right, fellas, we're back, and let me tell you, it's been an interesting time in my life uh, with my job in WWE being terminated due to a backstage political power play, at least that's my opinion of it, but now is not the time to talk about that. I will get into detail about that when the time is right. And as I mentioned earlier about my job, again, it's not the time, but when I it's it's not the time, but when I do and can speak, you know, freely, it's gonna be freaking juicy, fellas. I'm talking about all the nitty gritty details, you know what I'm talking about? So stay tuned, fellas. Top dollar, whose real name is AJ Francis spent two seasons as an NFL defensive tackle with the Miami Dolphins, Seattle Seahawks, and Washington Commanders, before breaking into pro wrestling and signing with WWE in 2020. Top dollar, Adonis and Bifab returned last year to reform a swerve less hit row, but they were never elevated beyond being enhancement talent to face bigger tag teams and singles acts. Top Dollar was constantly ridiculed by Michael Cole referring to him as Flop Dollar. 
That constant barrage from the voice that is supposed to enhance not damage was not helpful either. Dana Brooke penned a lengthy, heartfelt message regarding her departure from the company and her love for wrestling. Brooke posted the message to the X platform, formerly known as Twitter, on Friday. The star, whose real name is Ashley Sabera, said she had written many things and deleted them trying to wrap her head around this. The star, who has a background in bodybuilding, wrote about her time with the company and called wrestling her fairy tale and her true love. She said she gave wrestling her everything and also said it saved her life after the death of her fiancé, fellow bodybuilder Dallas McCarver, in 2017. I had two directions I could take, either bury myself in a deep hole of depression or rise to the top, and I always and will forever say WWE, wrestling, saved my life. Brooke wrote. It was all I ever had. My co-workers and fans were all I ever knew for so many years and turning to wrestling was my escape. Brooke, who signed with the company in 2013, had most recently been appearing on WWE NXT alongside Kalani Jordan. She is also a 15-time WWE 24-7 champion. Her last match with the company took place on September 12, 2023. Former WWE NXT superstar Julissa Leon was among last week's releases from WWE. Leon commented on her release. According to Leon, she is asked to be released from her WWE contract. To my dear fans and general public. No price is too high to fight for what you are and what you want, to be the woman of your dreams. I thank the WWE and NXT Universe for honoring me with the opportunity to be the first Mexican woman under contract, as a wrestler. I learned what I never imagined, I enjoyed like never before and I will stay with the great experiences and incredible friendships but for personal reasons, I took the decision to ask to be released from my contract. I will let you know the reasons at a later time and I am deeply grateful for the facilities and for leaving the doors open for me. I am still focused on my next projects, expect to hear from me very soon. No word on if Leon's future projects include wrestler, but it seems like she's living WWE on good terms. Plus, her father wrestled in Mexico under the ring name Bronco, so the business is in her blood. We'll see what the 27-year-old from Monterrey, whose real name is Jennifer Michelle Cantu Iglesias, does next. Mansoor al Shihail's time in the WWE has come to an end. The first Saudi Arabian wrestler to compete for the company, he simply went by the name Mansoor for the duration of his five-year career with the WWE. Earlier this week it was announced that a UFC-WWE merger had been completed, resulting in layoffs on both sides. Mason Mansoor, known lately as Maximum Male Models have been released from WWE, joining the litany of others who were let go. Both superstars seem to be taking the news in stride, with Mace sharing a photo that reads, We might be cringe, but we are free. Mansoor also took to social media to address the news, writing, My time at WWE has come to an end, but my career is just beginning, and posting a video in which he says he'll be available for bookings as of December 20th, which would mean that he is likely under a 90-day no-compete after the release. Thanks for letting me borrow your weights, kid. Shh, the... Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm on sore, here with a full lat spread due to my high-carb, high-sugar diet, to let you know that my contract with WWE has been terminated. And yes, I did get a spray tan just for the purpose of this video, and then immediately canceled my membership. But don't fret and don't cry. I'm incredibly excited for the future. I'm 27 years old, 210 pounds, in the best shape of my life, six feet tall. That's a shoot, by the way. No work numbers here, right, honey? Uh, more like 5'11". Shut up. I'm charming and charismatic enough to be an inspiration to millions of my people and good-looking and smoldery enough to be a male model. Hell of a range, if I do say so myself. Speaking of male models, I know it wasn't everybody's cup of tea, but I had the time of my life with my best friend and I have no regrets. I will always give everything that I have into anything I am given every time. I'll be taking bookings and doing children's birthday parties starting December 20th. لكل المتابعين العرب لعل خيرة أشكركم على دعمكم لمصيرتي. If you don't know Arabic, all you need to know is this. I'm still a goddamn national hero. <laughs> Oh, 
What are we watching again? What? This native too, boy. The best. Wrestling sports, them clap harder than me. You better watch yourself, boy. Need a tube. Indian behemoth Shanky is another name who was cut by WWE. Despite recently competing on the Superstar Spectacle event in his home country, Fightful indicated that the 32 year old wasn't showing progression in the ring, wasn't considered as a part of the reformed industry share, and never had any concrete creative plans under Paul Triple H Levesque. Despite being let go by WWE, Shanky is believed to have been a well liked member of the roster backstage. No way! We done. That's it. It's over. The video is over. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The video is over. Listen, 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 listen. I got you though. I have got you. It's me, Uncle Nate. You know who this is. It's Uncle Nate. This might, the boys might have been in this video, but they might be in some other videos. And if you need, if you need <laughs> more videos from pro wrestling marks like me, <laughs> what? I am a mark. Look at this. Look at this, Mark. She you are mine. You want those sports fanatics? You want more? <laughs> Subscribe. Ring the bell. Comment. Tell me what you like about this video. What didn't you like? I know we might have said something. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just a bit outside. Oh, I missed. No way, you are still here watching these screens. You're not gonna click. You are not. Why aren't you clicking? Watch the videos. Watch the videos. No, you might as well. You, you're watching this all. You might as well click sub subscribe. You're gonna click subscribe, right? Even if I muffle it up. This is the end of the video. The video is over. Oh, the video is long been over. Click like, subscribe, ring the bell. Watch the video. What am I gonna do? A wide shot? Yeah. Did I get it in? No. Well, you're still gonna click. Ah! <laughs> okay. I missed the shot. For you. <laughs> click like. You're gonna subscribe. You're gonna ring the notification. You're gonna tell me what you like about the video or not. You like this ending? Let's go. Time to go. Oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Well, what's the good of me is if you click and stop making me sweat. Holy shit, that was a bad idea. Whew. Ah! Why did I do that?